Hi there, great to be with you today and a warm welcome to Cruising with the Stars. Now, if you would like one of these, we have to give you a little look at these at the beginning of each show, because you do ring in and email us in your millions for them. Well, that's a slight exaggeration. Your thousands, that'll do, won't do. It's Guide to Family Cruising and also First Time Guide to Cruise Holidays. So if you've never been on a cruise and you want to try one, or if you've been on one and you want to know whether your granny or your two-year-old would be suitable for it, give us a call. 0871 423 Now, those calls will cost you 10p a minute from BT Landlines. Calls from other networks and mobiles, they may vary. But the best way to do it is the free way. Request a coffee through our website or request a coffee or or even a copy through our website at www.holidayandcruisechannel.co.uk. Stop making me laugh. I'm sitting next to a good looking man. Always does it for me. David Lawrence, he's my guest for today. Hello, Debbie. Okay. <laughs> Hello, darling. <laughs> West End was, singer, entertainer, extraordinary. What, what was it? Were you saying coffee? Was it coffee. coffee? <laughs> yes, if you'd like a coffee, email me. It's been one of those you days. You need to today. Make, take some more water with your gin. I know. I'll tell you now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm delighted to have David here today. Oh, he's done so much. He's been in Barnum. He's been on Phantom of the Opera. We're, all will be revealed shortly. But David, tell us first of all, what's been your very favourite part you've ever played? I think Debbie, the, the best part was um, playing um, Barnum. P yeah. yeah, Phineas, Phineas T. Barnum on ice with the Russian Ice Stars some years ago now. Yeah. And I trained with the Russian Ice Stars. I went to Moscow and I trained with the Moscow State Circus. And uh, wow. crack, crack, it was amazing because it's, it's, it's uh, it, when you get there, it's like stepping back in time. And the first thing I had to do was um, learn to walk on a tightrope, which was about two foot high at the time. Yeah. And uh, I was the oldest guy there. This room was full of younger people. And... Um, yeah, I learned to walk the tightrope and then I learned to juggle. They were a bit concerned the fact that I was going to do Barnum on ice and walk a tightrope, which is seven foot up in the air, over ice, because if you fall off the tightrope, you can't hang on to it. You're going you're gonna to rip your skin yeah. off your hands. You've got to, you learn to push away. So, but fortunately for me, I only fell off during rehearsals. I never, ever fell off during a performance. And to help me over the ice... Um, um, I used to have a, what they call a veer in Russian. It's a big fan, so that helped me balance as I walked across the, walked across the, the tightrope. But uh, I had a fabulous time. We did a, a national tour, international tour. We went abroad with it, and we went to these great um, theatres. And they made the ice rink within the the theatre itself yeah. uh, over the weekend. And there's a, there's a bit of a trick to that as well. And um, I I just had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time. Um, great reviews, yeah. great shows. Uh, the music was great, and there was a bit of comedy in there as well because obviously uh, Barnum. Uh, was I think was brought to, to to the TV viewers through Michael Crawford, so I was able to put yes. a bit of uh, Frank Spencer in there, you know, <laughs> I mean, a bit of that. So we did a bit of that, and it was it was a, I think I think now, even now that's that's got to be the best yeah. part I've played so far. Because judging by how you're describing it, it wasn't just the part; it was the preparation oh, yes. and going to Russia yes. and all those experiences <laughs> that you wouldn't otherwise have. We flew into Russia, and I was there for three months, and it was like minus; it became minus 15, minus oh. 16, and I lived in this apartment. Unfortunately, I could walk to uh, the ice rink every morning, a place called Lujniki in Moscow. Yeah. And it's a, it's, a different, it's a different world if you go to Moscow, if you go to Russia. I mean, the people there will kill you with kindness. They're, mm. so, they're wonderful people. But I'd walk to the ice rink, and it was warmer in the ice rink than it was outside. <laughs> and um, Had you ever ice skated before? No. Um, I'll tell you a little story. There's, there's always a story. And in this business, as we know, it's who you know, not oh, what yeah. you know. And I was in West End Showstoppers, doing the National Tour of West End Showstoppers, with, um, with some friends of mine. Well, they are friends of mine now. And there was a girl I was working with called Kathy Dooley. Yeah. And Kathy Dooley was from the original group uh, in the 80s, the Dooleys. And she, at the time, was married to a man called Tony Mercer, who was the, uh, the, uh, he, he was the producer and, uh, and director of of the Russian Eye Stars. Yeah. And um, he he phoned me up and asked, and we introduced, she introduced me to him, phoned me up and asked me to play Phantom of the Opera on ice. Right. So that's how it started. And then something happened on the ice one afternoon in Northampton. And then we went to, to Barnum. Um, we went to, um, we, we then went um, to rehearse for Barnum. Um, but um, he, um, 
the preparation when I flew into Russia. Yeah. That was the question, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I go off on one. I like people going off on one. I go off on um, one as well, don't I? Yes. You know, yeah. The preparation, we flew into Russia and I was there for three months yeah. with, uh, with uh, the, the, the guys and girls from, uh, from the Russian Eye Stars. And um, the funny thing was, um, and I'm going to walk across my tail now, I was there for three months but no one bothered to check my visa. Yeah. So on the way out, I was stopped and I wasn't allowed out of the country. They had £500 off me in in fines and then gave me my passport back and said you've got to stay in the country. I thought, what, where's, where are we going with I've this? never heard of that. So you've actually got to stay in the country. You've got to stay in the country. Dear so me. I had to, and uh, so be warned, um, <laughs> I, I had to bribe an official $850 yeah. to stamp my passport to get me out of Russia so I could get back to the UK to then start the tour for, for Barnum on Ice. Oh, good grief. So, Oh, well, listen, talking about Barnum and Michael Crawford and everything. Who? Yeah, who? <laughs> We're going to take a listen to, uh, to your singing now. Now, this lovely music of the night. Let's have a listen because you've got a great voice. Here we go. Sensation, darkness stirs and wakes imagination. Silently, the senses abandon defenses.
David Lawrence, our music of the night. Where was that, Dave? That was at the Hippodrome in Birmingham for the BBC some years ago. Um, as you can see, I look like a, a young lad ah. on that, doing a, I would have done a paper around then. Um, <laughs> but no, I, I went to the BBC, um, D BBC Pebble Mill, did uh, Aaron Titchmar's show and they invited me back to uh, Well, no to wonder that. they invited you back. Wasn't that absolutely gorgeous? And we'll be hearing more of the fabulous voice of David after this.